Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, and if you are new here, hi, my name is Christina, and welcome to Tales with Tina, and I'm so glad that you decided to join me for today's video. So it is currently Sunday, February 14th, or Valentine's Day, hence all the pink, and I thought today would be a good day to talk about relationships. Now, I am specifically going to tell you the story of my relationship and kind of run it down. And this is also going to be an advice video as well. Um, I am in an age gap relationship, um, so I'll get into that in a little bit. And so I just wanted to give some tips and ideas. Um, you know, about dating somebody that's older than you, but also dating somebody that isn't in the same religion as you as well. So let's just hop into this video. So back in September of 2020, I was living in New York. I was living in upstate New York and um, I met a guy. And we met online on a dating app called Upwards. And at first, I was kind of like, I was skeptical because I was like, well, what if he's not, you know, too good? What if he's not, you know, actually real? What if I go and meet him and he's some weird, like, foreigner? Because you never know. Um... You know, you never know what you're going to get on those dating apps. And so um, he messaged me and he's like, hey, this is, um, his name is Tim. And, you know, he was like, um, how are you? And I'm like, um, I'm good. How are you? And, you know, we just kind of started talking a little bit. And then he's like, do you want my number? And I'm like, okay, yeah, you know, let's see, you know, you know, get his number, see what it's really about. And so I got his number and we were texting throughout the night. And, um, then the next morning he texts me, hi. And I'm like, hi. And, um, cause we were planning to meet up that day and he was American and he, he had an American accent, he had like the Western accent, and I'm like, okay, this guy is, you know, real. I, He's American, thank goodness. And then um, we just, it seemed like we just clicked instantly on the phone. Um, and so I went to where he was living a couple hours away, and when I first saw him, I didn't know what to feel. <laughs> I was nervous, I was happy, excited, scared, all in one. You know, because I had been through some stuff in my last marriage, you know, being verbally abused, physically abused, you know, had my guard up and everything. But when I saw him, it's like something opened and I knew. I knew instantly that, you know, even with all the emotions that I was going to be with him and he was going to be with me. And so when I walked in and everything, he gave me flowers and, um, like gave me a hug and there, there was definitely chemistry. I'm not going to lie. There was chemistry. Um, and, you know, hi, you know, he's like, I'm Tim, you know, I'm, you know, really excited you're here. And I'm like, I'm Christina. Um, it's nice to meet you. And like, you know, we, he had me come inside, obviously, and we sat down and just started talking and um, he could tell I was nervous, you know, because, you know, you're meeting somebody for the first time and you don't know what to expect and you don't know how they are. And so... He did everything that he could to make it comfortable. And um, once, you know, the day went, came and, you know, kept going, 
I got more and more comfortable with him. It seemed like we knew each other, you know, our whole lives. And we'd only talked online the night before. And he made me dinner that night. He knows the way to my heart. Steak. Steak. He, he knows. And so he made me dinner. And we watched a movie and snuggled on the couch. And, um... When it was time for me to leave, he really didn't want me to leave, and I didn't want to leave either, and because, you know, it just seemed like we had clicked, and, you know, things were going really good, and then that was on a Thursday, and then that Friday, I went and spent the weekend with him. Now, I know that I'm not supposed to do that, and I'm probably going to get a lot of hate for it, but I don't care. He, I just, you know, he was it for me and I knew it. And so I went and spent the weekend with him and, um, it was a really good weekend. We watched movies. I helped him with some things around the house. Um, we played with his dogs. He's got four dogs. So that was an instant win for me. And, um... I, he taught me how to do, um, he's really big into like canning and woodworking. So he taught me how to do some of that stuff. And, you know, we were just able to connect and see how we work together. And we worked really, really well together. And it was just an amazing weekend. And, um, yeah. And then, um, Let's see, that was in September. And then through October and November, we made an attempt to see each other at least once or twice a week. And because, you know, he was two hours away and, you know, I didn't always, you know, feel like it. And plus I was, you know, trying to make um, living in New York work, but it just wasn't working. And the person I was living with at the time was making it really difficult for me even to want to stay. So the first part of November, I made the decision I wanted to go home, but I wasn't able to get a ticket until a couple weeks later. So I went and stayed with my boyfriend. And, you know, during that time, I had made a decision, all right, I'm going to look for the red flags. I am going to, you know, see if there's anything that I need to be worried about. And I, d I never found anything. If anything, he really helped me work through some of my issues that I was having. Um, and a lot of that had stemmed from the abuse. Um, you know, there was a time when I wouldn't let him really um, touch me because I would get jumpy. I'd let him hug me, but that'd be about as far as it would go. Um, there, I had a really hard time um, trying to deal with his sense of humor and how to take, you know, what he was saying sometimes because it was really hard for me. Um, and, you know, he, he's really patient with me. He really understands that I've been through a lot and, you know, he doesn't push things on me. He doesn't make me feel, you know, awful for what happened. Um, you know, he was really patient with me and I was really able to work through a lot of my issues in the week and a half that I stayed with him. Um, and then in that week and a half, he, we were on a walk and he, um, stopped and I thought, you know, oh, he just needed to take a break, but he turned me around and I remember it clear as day. Um, he has a garden and so we were walking around the garden and he um, got down on, he looked at me very seriously. And I'm like, oh gosh, either he's gonna break up with me or he's getting ready to get down on one knee. And sure enough, this is, this is how it went. He's like, I knew from day one that you were the one for me. I knew right when I looked at you that I was supposed to spend the rest of my life with you. 
And then he gave me a kiss, got down on one knee, and he said, Christina Maria Frost, will you do me the honor of spending the rest of my life with me? And will you marry me? And I was in tears. I'm like, yes. I was like, yes, I will marry you because I knew God had led me to him. I knew that God had chosen this guy for me because I had prayed about it. And I had asked him, you know, God, is this the man that I'm supposed to spend the rest of my life with? Send me a sign, something. And he said, yes, this is the man that you are going to spend the rest of your life with. And I was so excited when he proposed that I didn't want to, you know, leave. I didn't want to, you know, go home. But I had to come home. And we're doing the long distance thing. But we're making it work. And it's tough. It has its challenges. But in a few months, I'm going to be with him again for good this time. And it's going to be all worth it. And I'm so 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 excited so i want to sh um show you my ring obviously it's a three stone it represents our past present and our future and um this was at when he proposed he did not have a ring um you know because it was kind of a sudden thing um you know because we'd only been dating a couple of months um you know and um he just didn't get a ring but he had this since my house and i i can't take it off i i love this i just it makes me so happy and honored to wear this and yeah i just can't <laughs> i just love the man um i'm gonna show you a picture um of him and me this is one of our first pictures we took and isn't he just so handsome? He's a cowboy through and through. Um, he's ex-military as well. Um, and he just had all the qualities I was looking for in a guy. And uh, I just love him so much. Now, I'm going to talk about our age gap. We have, he is 48, I am 25. So we have a 23, 23 year age difference between us. And not only do we have the 23 year age difference, I am LDS. He is not. Um, he is Catholic. And, um, you know, I that was one thing I was worried about was the whole, um, you know, relationship thing. I was real, not the whole relationship thing, sorry, the whole religion thing. But honestly, it really has not been that big of an issue. Um, you know, he says, you know, I don't fully agree with what you believe, but I'm not going to stop you from going to church or doing what you want to do. And I'm the same way. I don't fully believe what, you know, I don't fully agree with the Catholic Church. I think there's a lot of crap going on in the Catholic Church, but I'm not going to judge y'all, so don't come after me. Um, so, you know, we, we have our religious differences, but it doesn't really affect us. Um, but my advice to somebody who is having issues is just to have open communication and just say, hey, this is what I believe. This is, you know, why I believe what I believe. And, um, you know, it's okay if you disagree with me and it's okay if you don't see eye to eye but don't put me down for my beliefs. And, you know, that was one thing I told him head on. You know, I am LDS. I, you know, this is what I believe. And this is why I believe it. And he's like, all right, great. And then, you know, he told me this is, I am Catholic. This is what I believe. This is why I believe it. And really, it all comes down to it. We both believe in God. We both, you know, believe, you know, that he exists and we both have a great love for him and that's all that matters. So my advice to you is just be open, have open communication about it. Um, 
you know, and just be honest up front with each other about your beliefs. Now, I'm not going to say our relationship, our time as being a couple has been all honey and cake because it has not. We have gotten a lot of hate for being age gap. Um, and a lot of that is, you know, people, they see us, they think that I'm his daughter. <laughs> um, you know, they're like, well, why, why is he dating a girl that's so much younger than him? Or why, why is she dating a guy that's so in love to be her dad? She must have daddy issues. And that's not even the case at all. Um, you know, I don't let it bother me. I don't let the whole, um, people talking get in my head. I don't let people make me feel like I am such a horrible person um, for who I'm dating because I've been called a gold digger. I've been called some pretty nasty things as well and I'm okay with that. You know, nobody, it's your relationship. It's not anybody else's relationship. Um, you know, so really, it doesn't bother me. It doesn't affect me. Um, you know, I'm honored that, you know, he even wants to be with somebody my age because he has a kid my age. You know, he's got three kids. I have not met them yet, but I hope too soon. Um, but I'm not going to treat it any different. You know, I'm, we know what kind of couple we are. We, you know, we know who we are and, you know, that's all that matters. And, you know, people are going to talk regardless of what kind of relationship you're in. But it's just a little bit harder when you're in an age gap relationship, especially like ours. You know, 23 years. That's a pretty big difference. But we love each other. We both know that this is meant to be. And, you know, this is, you know, who, what we want. And... I'm really excited. I'm very excited about my future. I'm very excited about what our marriage holds. Um, you know, I'm very excited to see what this next chapter in my life brings. Um, you know, because I went through some really, really tough stuff and I really believe God led me to him. You know, led me through that storm to lead me to him and to show me and tell me that you went through this for a reason and he is the reason and you know go on <laughs> and so this is why I say wait for the right one wait, wait for God to lead you to that person because he will because it's better to stay single and you know then be with somebody who you're not meant to be with and miss the person that you are supposed to be with. And, you know, I was single for a little over a year after I left my ex-husband, and I'm glad that I stayed single because I was able to learn a lot about myself. I was able to, you know, really start healing. And I, you know, was led to somebody who loves me and adores me just the way I am and who is patient with me and lets me work through my issues. And I'm just, I'm so thankful for him in a lot of ways. And, you know, even though we are doing the long distance thing, we make it work. And he makes sure that I know that he loves me and know that I am worth it. And, you know, he just makes me feel like I am somebody and I love him and I can't imagine life without him. So that is my relationship story. <laughs> um, and that's my advice. Um, you know, there's some advice thrown in there and, um, yeah, I just wanted to take the opportunity on Valentine's day to talk about the most amazing guy in the world. And, um, so I just want to say happy Valentine's Day to you all. I hope that you have a good one. And just know that every day is Valentine's Day when you're with the right one. So 
I will talk to you guys soon. And if you guys liked this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for all future videos. And I will be back Thursday with another video. Bye.